you know, it's been said since the beginning of time, good teams are, are kind of led by the coaches, great teams are led by the players. And um, some of those guys that have had a lot of experience for us need to take the next step and, and just give us some great energy, some great leadership. Um, and I want to have fun out there. I want to be demanding. I want to be full speed. I want to get everything we can out of everybody, but I want to have fun too. And football's a fun game. And when you're playing really fast and you know what you're doing, um, once they let us get pads on and we're hitting people, once that stuff all comes together, that's where the fun comes to me. But we have to feed off each other's energy. And, and the other piece of it is um, – we haven't been able to stress it to them as much yet, but when we get into the the Big Ten season here, we're going to go in, in Memorial Stadium and there's going to be, you know, whatever they let us have, zero to 500 people. I don't even know what, what the numbers are going to be, but it's going to be kind of, you know, bring your own juice a little bit, bring your own energy. Yeah, yeah. Um, so so we need to get that going now. Our, our guys are – not just our guys, the whole conference, they're not going to be used to playing in front of an empty stadium in the Big Ten, especially at Nebraska, whether they're on the road or we're at home. We have the best fans in the country, period, and there's always a lot of juice coming from the stands. There's not going to be, so we're going to have to bring our own a little bit. To answer your question, they're both playing at a high level, and, you know, I don't know if I – I look at it as pressure. I think they're both making each other better. Uh, we feel good about both guys right now. We really do. And uh, as a matter of fact, you know, with, uh, with Masker and, and, and Logan, our freshmen, playing really well too, we feel like we've got great depth at that position. But they're, they've both improved a ton just the understanding of what we're trying to teach them since I've been here. And their attitude's been great. Uh, they're as humble a guy, as humble as quarterbacks as I've been around. You know, they always want to give credit to other people and, and uh, you know, they're team players. And so we feel really good about both of them. You know, I think Coach Lubick has done a great job of, you know, coming up with, you know, route schemes and stuff like that to help, you know, not only the tight ends, but, you know, everyone else get the ball and put us in the best situations to win. Uh, so, you know, I think that's part of it. The other part of it is I think we're just going out there and making more plays and, you know, because we're a little more detailed on some of our routes, you know, running at full speed more of the time. And, uh, you know, just some of the smaller details like that, they really end up turning, you know, what could be, you know, a throw to the flat for three yards into a 15 yard gain because we ended up coming out of our break a little bit faster. And, uh, you know, I think it's just minor details that have helped helped us a lot. And, you know, I think Coach Lewis done a good job of drawn up some schemes for, you know, not only the tight ends, but wide receivers, running backs as well. Well, I mean, that's, that's something that they're all going to have to be good at. It's not like you can go, okay, I'm going to put this guy in, hopefully don't run it over there, uh, or hopefully it's a, an inside run or something like that. So to be able to get on the field, that's my job. i got to make them good at, at setting the edge. And, um, you know, th there's guys that have talent and uh, guys that can, can, can do that. We just we have to go out and we have to be exact in what we're doing. We can't go, we almost had that one, or uh, sometimes we got it and sometimes we didn't. Uh, it's got to be an every snap thing, and uh, that's going to uh, start in practice. Hopefully here we can get rolling and uh, start getting the pads on and be able to do that. And it's going to start, and uh, we're going to have to continue that from game one all the way through the end of the season. All right, so starting at right guard, yes, we did move Matt down inside to right guard and uh, doing a good job of, uh, you know, uh, essentially just converting. You know, things are a little bit different down inside. The game is a little quicker, uh, and he's still getting, you know, uh, his feet under the ground. Uh, underneath him, if you will, uh, at that position. But uh, doing a nice job, obviously a lot of experience that he has uh, just playing overall. Um, behind Matt, um, competition-wise, will be uh, guys like Ethan Piper. Um, there's Trent Hickson. Uh, there's Matt Sichterman, uh, those guys. Uh, and then switching over to left guard, uh, Bo Wilson is there right now, um, along with Brock Bando, uh, Nuri. Uh, the transfer that came in from Colorado State, hard to say his last name. I don't want to screw it up, but uh, but nevertheless, uh, and there's a, a few guys that can cross over. Like Trent uh, is also a crossover guy uh, that can play both sides as well. Obviously, you know, uh, he started for us uh, the better or the majority of last year at that at that position. So, well, uh, the biggest thing with Travis, um, he spent a lot of time last year down on the scout team, um, and then. On Fridays, spending a lot of time with with our, our guys, understanding our scheme. Um, during this COVID time, uh, we've had a chance to spend a little bit extra time um, via Zoom as a tight end position, kind of getting him up to speed and what we 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 do technique wise and 
and our offensive schemes of, of things blocking and also running routes. Um, we're expecting him to come in and be a dominant force uh, in the run game and then a dominant force in the passing game, just like uh, Jack Stoll and Austin Allen uh, performed last year. Man, play every game like it's our last. Um, be focused, be energized, um, be assignment driven, force turnovers, uh, what, just like raising the, raising the bar, raising the standard, right? We, we got to continuously do that um, personally and as a unit, just always, just always pushing ourselves. Uh, we, haven't, we haven't talked about specific stats, Derek, but just like in general, the whole vibe, the whole energy is just, just raising the bar. Um, I'm not really thinking about anything of that. I'm just taking week by week, day by day, and let God handle the rest. And so I really don't think about what's my plans are. I really don't have a plan. You know, when you try to make a plan, it, it don't plan out how you want it to be. So I, I, I give God all, I give God my pathway to life. And so uh, always, we always trying to find out things that we've done previously um, uh, in the past years that we can do better. We also look at things that, um, that we want to try um, to make us a better uh, defense as well. So uh, we're always trying to find out ways we can be better uh, across the board as a defense and um, also always trying to, you know, like I said, trying to uh, look back at some things and fix things. Uh, and that's pretty much every day. Uh, it's been awesome finally getting back in the full pads. I feel like we've been looking forward to it forever, thinking it was going to happen every week, and then it keeps getting pushed back and pushed back. So we're just excited we finally get to hit some guys. Uh, every year we bring in another recruiting class. Every weight session was active all where we're developing players. We get closer to having not just the type of talent that we need to compete at the high level, but the depth that we need to compete at the high level. Um, so we'll keep training our guys from the bottom of the roster to the top of the roster. And, um, you know, day by day, if we get better and better, we're going we're gonna to be closer to where we want to be.